In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful natural wood ceiling with a black shadow background. So let's do it. So I'm doing the ceiling of the van and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, slats that are made out of um, poplar. This is a two and a half. I'm actually using three and a half, but they'll be running down. And then this, this is going to be the back black background. And a lot of people are using plywood, but I figured I didn't really need that extra thickness or the weight or also because I'm doing this last, I've got all these angles that I'd have to cut. Um, to try to fit it in there, which would be really hard to make it fit tight. So what I decided to do is use black felt. So I've stapled the black felt up to the ceiling and um, I've got a section to do in the back um, behind my fan. So I'm, I'm stapling the black, black felt and then I'm just gonna screw the poplar strips into these, um, into these furring strips that I put in when I first did the van. So. That's what it's going to look like. Um, I'll show you how it goes. So I decided to rip the three and a half inch by three quarter inch poplar down so that it would only be half inch thick. This is actually, they call it one by four, but it's actually three quarters of an inch thick by three and a half inches wide. And I figured I didn't need that extra thickness or the weight or even I didn't want to take up that extra quarter of an inch of space uh, on my ceiling. And so I ripped it and because it's three and a half inches wide and my table saw only goes, I think three, two and three quarters or three inches. What I did is I ripped it at about uh, two inches, set my saw to about a two inch height, ripped it down one side and then flipped it over and ripped it again. Now I already, uh, stained these pieces before I ripped them. What I did with the stain is I used a, um, the color was natural oak and it's a l pretty light stain. With poplar, you definitely need to treat it, to use a pre-stain treatment before you stain it. Otherwise, it's gonna come out blotchy because the poplar is gonna absorb the stain differently. I tried a test piece to see how it would come out and it was really blotchy. The pre-stain treatment was, um, I, I put it on and you, I just rubbed it on with a rag. I let it sit for 30 minutes and then I did my stain and it made it come out, showed the grain really nicely and uh, eliminated all the blotchiness. So I highly recommend you do that. I did not use any kind of a varnish or anything over the top of the stain. I just did the stain. I wanted that real natural look. It really just darkened up the wood a little bit, almost made it look like an oiled um, look. And uh, so that's all I did with the wood. So once I got all of the pieces ripped down to the proper thickness, I went ahead and installed them. You can see I already installed the piece that had the puck lights in it first. I just drilled the holes uh, through the wood and uh, I think they're two and an eighth inch uh, holes. Uh, cut a little hole in the felt and ran the wires through those. And then I used a half inch piece of plywood as a spacer and I space each of these pieces a half inch apart. And then I used a trim head cabinet screw. I used, uh, they're kind of a brass color so that I, I felt like they'd look kind of blend in with the wood. And uh, they're one and a quarter inches long and I just screwed those one um, into each of the furring strips um, for each of the, of the slats. So you can see here, 
I had it lined up and I just did it right in the center of the, uh, of the strip and screwed it right into the furring strip. And these, because they're trim head screws, they countersink themselves really nicely. So I just barely countersunk them into the wood so that uh, there's just kind of, it'll leave a little bit of a hole, but uh, I didn't putty them up or anything. Just, there's just a little hole, but there's just a gold head of the, the screw that you can see in there. Because I was working by myself and didn't have anyone to help me, I found that it was uh, helped out to clamp a little piece of wood uh, onto my kind of my shelf uh, up in the front of the van. And then I was able to just slide each of the slats up so that they'd be held uh, up in the front while I screwed them in in the other areas. And that worked out really well. So my camera cut off and didn't finish recording uh, the rest of the install, but here you can see the finish. What I did is I took a quarter round piece and I put it around the edges uh, so that it, there was, you know, where I had little gaps. Right here, I hadn't quite, um, I hadn't quite put that piece up yet. So you can see it kind of is a little bit, um, a little bit of a gap. But then once you put that piece of quarter round up. Uh, and you can really use any kind of trim you want. That kind of fills that space and makes it look really clean. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I wanna thank you for watching. If you like this, give it a thumbs up uh, and please, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel so you can see all of our van build videos. And we also share videos about our travels and uh, other things as well. So thanks for watching, have a great day.